Someone asked me a question apart from what we call the hire. Is there any other visa that you can apply for in Qatar or which other via, visas that are on what you call the hire portal? Yes, most of you have gone to the hire portal, what you call www.hire.qa. When you go to the www.hire.qa, that's the hire portal. Remember, what you call the hire portal is just a streamlined portal where all the visas or all people that wish to come or willing to come or want to come to Qatar, they should have, they should have what find, what you call the visas that are respectively for their application. So when we go to the hire portal, you can find visa A1, A2, A3 and A4 visa. All these are types of visas, they have their own requirements and they have their own particular group. When you look at A1 visa, A1 visa is a tourist visa. However, something that you need to understand, it has its own requirement. You will need to pay up a PA fee on the application. Uh, in case it is approved, you will need to pay up application uh, fee. Then also something you need to understand with the A1 tourist visa that if you are going to stay in the country for more than 30 days in the country you will definitely need to have what you call unhealth insurance by what you call accredited or licensed health insurer providers in the country in Qatar. then also something that also you need to understand you need to provide what you call proof of what you call accommodation that can be where to friends you are going to stay they should have an address or it should be what you call a hotel booking then we look at a2 visa a2 visa is for the GCC residents. You can apply for that visa to come into the country and exit out of the country. So long as you have what you call a valid residence permit. This one does not discriminate against any profession. Anyone can apply so long as you have what you call a valid residence permit. Then we have what you call A3. We have what you call A3 which is ETA. That is, electro that is electronic uh, Transfer authorization that is for the residents of USA, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. They can apply for that visa. However, also a requirement for that, they also need to pay what you call a visa fee, which can be even 100, sometimes 100 yen, or sometimes they may be exempted. But still, something that they also need to understand if you are coming from those countries, you also need to have what you call an hotel booking for where you are going to stay. And if you are going to stay in the country for more than what we call 30 days, you will need what we call an insurance uh, policy or you need an insurance that should be uh, got from licensed insurance providers in the country in Qatar. And for the hotel booking, it can be a hotel depending on what is the requirement that is being given. And or it can also be what you call friends address where you are going to stay. We look at A4, that is companions of the GCC uh, citizens. The GCC citizens can bring in their car, they can bring in their family, their kids can come in in the country and can enjoy. However, also they have one requirement that they need to fulfill is that they need to be uh, have a salary which is over 10, which is 10,000 and above because that is uh, looked as something that can be able to take up the family. So, hope of people ask about the visas apart from the hire, we can still have those visas and you can still come into the Qatar or we can still come into the country and enjoy. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Thank you, by, uh, thank you so much. By the way, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to support. Remember, it's next from the next creation. Team.